Hey everyone, um, I want to talk about the building environment today. Let us create a building environment or a school environment. A physical school environment is the one I'm talking about that tells a story. I recently walked through a school building and I felt so intimidated. Everything was so pristine. Everything had a place, the displays were perfect. Every class I walked into had things in order. Not one book was out of place. Everyone had their planning in the same position. Every teacher's desk was in the same um, spot in the classroom. Every corridor was orderly. I visited a second school and the school had every display in place. Every cubby was labelled, there were QR codes for everyone to access, things were very, very organised. To the extent that I felt that there was a feeling of control. In the first scenario, after the initial wow, I felt okay. The team were kind, the people were friendlier than I thought, and I could see where the team, team was going. It was an emerging workspace and the first priorities were about getting the building right, shared understandings and expectations that were needed to enable the team to go deeper and get into good learning. The second building, though, left me feeling like, I'm not sure I really want to work here. There wasn't a teacher in the building. I walked through and I could sense, I could only sense um, control. If I breathe wrong, make my own decision, I'm not sure I would survive. And it got me thinking, what message does your building send? My office desk is really organised and having exceptionally tidy workspaces um, are not our priorities in our school. People are, learning is, our workspaces are open with smaller offices to spin out into if you need to. We have couches and tables and our team often meet on the floor. Our building is full of learning. Classes are consistent in minimum requirements, but the rest of it is up to the teacher and the class as to how they work. Some have tables and chairs, others don't have any at all, some have carpets and cushions, others don't use their classrooms ever during the day beyond the daily register. Sounds very free, and it is, and it isn't. Our team is all about really explicit expectations and boundaries and targets. It's about clarity. We have processes of things and high levels of accountability. However, professional discretion and respect are held just as highly. I want to think of teachers who think, who question and who want to learn. Teachers who want to try something new, who will teach me um, and be open to the teaching of others. I don't want teams who turn up for work to do what they're asked to do. I want teams who are there to drive and to excel and to experiment and to push boundaries and to discover new things. This might mean we have to fail or I might need to lead very differently, but it does mean we have people who are very committed and work with high levels, high levels of self-accountability. This way of working can take longer to see results. Conforming and compliance following a set model works in the short term. But at what expense and then what? The longer I have been in education, the more I believe that we have great professionals around us. They simply need a lot of support and our time and coaching. The environment, both physical and emotionally, is what makes the difference. It comes back to culture. What culture are you creating as a leader? What you value is valued. Walk you building. What messages are you sending? Bring in a potential recruit and ask them what they see. Do you see what I see?